All right, I have to change some things. First, do we have different music? All right, that's different. It's, that's different. It's not good, but it's different. So we turn it down a little. And if you ever turn it down, we need an idea to get people to pay attention. Maybe somebody could send a link to a friend. Maybe we could reach people doing this. That would be nice. That would give it a purpose. Yeah, yeah. Got to come up with something good. Something different. That's the f***ing idea. No, I, I don't have a better idea, but then I'm having a f***ing argument with myself here, aren't I? Hi. I'm Dan. From Slick Edit. I'm the nameless, faceless voice behind all the other Slick Edit videos. I'm also responsible for the diff, backup history, and version control support in Slick Edit. I'm not special. Everybody at a small software shop wears a lot of hats. The problem is that I'm only one Dan. There are already hundreds of videos about Slick Edit, but I feel like people don't realize how much time they can save with features only available in Slick Edit. But Dan, what real-world scenario could you offer that I might need these features in? Well, last weekend when you were working, your boss went to the beach, but for some reason, while he was there, he binge-watched Silicon Valley, or at least all the YouTube videos about tabs versus spaces. That guy who likes tabs? Yeah, he decided definitely f*** him. And that week, your whole repository changed from using tabs to using spaces, which can make comparing new code to old code rather problematic. For the purposes of this video, he changed the brace style as well. I couldn't find a pop culture reference for that. There's several ways to compare with version control in Slick Edit. Let's take a look at history diff. This will bring up a dialog that will show you all the versions of the file, information about the currently selected version of the file, and whether or not to diff the local file or consecutive versions. We're going to choose the local file, and we're going to select a version to diff with, and we're going to be pretty stumped by that reformatting. I only know of one way to deal with code that's had spaces and braces reformatted, and that's look at its source diff. It only diffs the code, so you can find your actual changes. Download your free trial today. Go to www.slickedit.com slash trial.